be honest, dude. I thought you were just the person I was playing with. So I didn't even know it was you. Like, I didn't even know. Oh, like, really? <laughs> oh my gosh. No, uh, I was talking to dude. Uh, he's like, yeah, I, like I respect the whole Christian thing, but it's not really a big thing for me. You off of work today? I, I got to work later. What you, now. what you do? One of my jobs, I work at an oyster bar part time. Ah, nice. Are you from Florida or something? Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. same, dude. Where, where about? You don't tell me the exact location, <laughs> but I'm in, I'm in the, the no. Tampa area. Oh, okay. I'm in the Destin, Panama City. Oh, ah, okay. Nice. So you're, you're much more northern than I am. Yeah, more Alabama. Yeah. It, I'll be honest, bro. Yeah, us, us people down here in Florida, uh, or in like the regular part of Florida, we don't really count you guys as part of the state. Just so you know. Yeah, I believe it. Uh, it's just more of Alabama. We just be like, oh, that's basically Alabama. Man, I'm not from Florida anyway, so I don't count myself from Florida anyway. So you from <laughs> Alabama? Georgia, from Georgia. Go My Gators? Might live here. Gators. Go <laughs> no way, dude. My man said the Gators. Like, no, no, we love the Gators and we love Jesus. But King, I had a, I had a different random question for you, bro. What you think about God? You think he's real? <laughs> Good question, man. I don't know, bro. I'm not. I think a God is real. I don't know about God itself, but I don't know. I'm not really, really religious, man. I'm just, just me, man. Living my life to the best. You, know. you got your medical card? Medical card? What you talking about? Medical, medical marijuana. Oh, mm -hmm. nah, nah. I don't, I don't smoke or anything like that. I respect it. Just nothing. Just honestly, like one. If I'm honest, right? Like. Uh, God calls us to be like sober-minded, right? And that oh, would, okay. yeah, so that's what you're asking. That's yeah. And then the second, and then the second thing would be, I actually play professional soccer, um, so like oh, that, nice. that yeah. just wouldn't enhance that, right? Like, I mean, when it comes to like yeah, alcohol, definitely. right? Like, I don't drink alcohol not because like I'm not allowed to, right? Like, if I had were to have like a drink or like a friend were to have a drink, I have no problem with that, right? But me personally, as an athlete, like it just doesn't enhance me becoming a better soccer player. And through that, that doesn't help me. You know what I mean? I respect it, man. Yeah. Each is his own, man. However you want to live your life, man. I don't knock nobody, man. So since we're chilling for a sec, so I am a Christian, right? It's it's super important to me. But I like hearing other people's yeah. stories of why or why not they're a Christian as well. So you said you believe in God, but like not really sure what God would you mind sharing with <laughs> me a little sad. bit uh, like I said, yeah i grew up obviously like i said i don't want to i just don't want to disrespect saying i'm a christian because i don't necessarily i don't act like a christian i mean i don't want to okay. say it call myself i am because i don't I don't go to church i don't read the bible i don't but i grew up reading the bible and going to church and stuff you know but it's yeah. not so you know I actually really appreciate that and respect that, bro. I like I don't think you can understand how much I actually appreciate that and respect that because there's a lot of people out there that call themselves Christians and they're like they're they're like I'm I'm just a Christian because I yeah. want to be a Christian, not because I'm actually a Christian, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, well that's why I say I respect you, bro, because like I said, it's not that I don't don't know want to be a Christian and don't believe, you know, it's just that I can't I don't walk the faith, you know, I can't claim it just because I want to, you know. Oh, I thought you got him. Let's play again. I'm pressed play again. I'm good. Yeah, and no worries. Whenever we stop, we stop. The ice. Oh, that's so unfortunate. So, I'll share with you a little bit about this if you if you don't mind uh, before we hop in. Um, Let's do it. I myself, right, have thought a lot about like why as a christian would i even want to do all the things that god calls us to do right like uh -huh. wouldn't it all just be like a waste of time and stuff like that but from just a life standpoint right if god is the creator of all things right if he's the creator of all things he knows that he knows what is best for us as humans right like he knows what the best life would be like for us humans if he created us and he also lived as a human, right? God in the flesh is Jesus Christ, right? Like he knows what is right. best as a life for us, right? And if that's the case, then I want to do my best to live a life that is the life that God has called me to live because it is the best life available. You know what I mean? Yeah, I respect that. So. I like that. And like the biggest way in which I, I, I live that out, right, is is by going to church, mostly because there's a lot of people who love God that go to church and they'll push me to live that type mm -hmm. of life. Uh, I read my Bible because I get to know the creator of the universe more. Um, and 
and it encourages me to go in and it equips me to live the life that is honoring and glorifying to him. Um, and then also prayer, like we have direct access to the one God, the one true God, and we can talk to him and, and, and just be like, Hey, I need help here. I am praying for my friends or just Lord, I'm lonely. You know what I mean? Like in every single way, we just have direct access to, to the, to the one true God. And yeah, I just, I just encourage yeah. you a little bit like that, bro. Like, yeah, I go to church. Uh, my wife and I, you know, we do our nightly devotions. We do prayer. We're in oh. Bible groups together. So, I mean, like, we've been, uh, my mom got me into the church at a pretty young age. And so, uh, did her ministry. Um, she's the head of uh, Care Youth Ministry over at one of my local Lutheran churches. So, we, uh, Bro. we've been uh, involved in church pretty uh pretty frequently i'll up. be honest dude i thought you were just the person i was playing with so i didn't even know it was you like i didn't even know oh, that. Really? <laughs> oh my gosh no uh, i was talking to dude uh, he's like yeah I, like i respect the whole christian thing but it's not really a big thing for me I, I would i believe in the stuff right but like i don't i just don't live it out like i don't really want to live it out and that whole spiel was uh, kind of like like for him and then you just the fact no, that i got yeah. you and you're not like what the are you talking about yeah. you know what i mean like what why are you yeah, telling me this? Like, oh, hell yeah. like, I respect it. <laughs> oh my gosh dude well i saw your name and i was like hmm and then you started talking i was like all right this makes sense yeah i'm actually a streamer and i and my and i go into games and i build relationships with people and i share with them the good news of jesus so uh, that's yeah pretty sweet uh, yeah well i hope your thursday is going great yeah this is my uh, first game today so we'll see how uh how this actually goes easy dubs i hope so here we go Someone in my stream wants to know your testimony if you'd be willing to share it. Oh, goodness. All right, give me a sec. I'm going to have to build up some courage on this one. No joke. All right. Especially since I, you can... know, I know it is like a stream and stuff. Like... No, 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 no. How about this? I'll, I'll just ask you guiding questions. That might be able to help. Make it a little bit less, less nerve-wracking for you. Oh, goodness. All right, all right. Uh, here, I'm telling you, I don't know why I, I get... I've always been worked up about it. Dude, You're good, dude. took me... You know, my... Yeah, my wife actually is the one that got me into a, even a men's group. And then now we're into like a little couple's group. But hey, I, I never really wanted to do that. Wasn't very good at reading in front of people and all sorts of things, but... God uses myself. people in our... God uses people in our lives in amazing ways, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. So, how... Like, when you stream, are you just... Uh, are you doing this to like spread the word out to... You know, I'm, I'm sure you play with hundreds of thousands of people, you know, throughout if you're doing it for years. But I mean, like, kind of talk to and or do you raise anything? Do you do you Twitch? Do you? Yeah. So like for okay. so I, I'm live on Twitch most of the time. Um, I do a lot of content creation and I post it on TikTok and and on YouTube. Uh, I've been doing I've been doing it only for about almost 10 months now. Um, I actually play professional soccer that that it's what you would consider my day job. Uh, unfortunately, I have been in a team for a while because of because God is using a different route in my life. You know what I mean? My hope is to just go into games with people, right? Build a relationship with them. Maybe ask them some funny questions, ask them for a joke. Like, you know, just build a really ask them how their day is, right? Ask them what they do. And my genuine hope is just to be able to talk to them and, and hopefully hear what they think about God and and why they believe or don't believe and, and why they believe in Christianity or don't, what's it mean to be a Christian, stuff like that. And my hope is that as that conversation goes and I care about what they have to say, like genuinely care about what they have to say, I would then get the opportunity to share with them the good news of Jesus, of who he is and what he's done for us, not only in our lives, but for eternity. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that. And like that um... I mean, you are you you are doing the, exactly what a you know a devoted good Christian should be with non being judgmental. A lot of people always get confused thinking that, especially someone who would kind of go out and especially in war zone of all places. That's kind of <laughs> awesome. Everyone thinks we're super judgmental and all that, but right. we're really not. That's the sad thing, and that's the kind of thing I like. My like, would I love it if someone like just you know converted to Christianity right here while I'm talking to them, right? Like of if i'm honest yeah of course you know what i mean like that'd be amazing yeah the chances are getting... that that's not gonna happen you know what i mean like i don't know if you ever heard of a ministry called young life it's basically a ministry for middle schooler and high school kids and it's geared towards pursuing the types of kids that would never put their their foot in the doors of a church on their own yes i would love it if someone were to convert to christianity and follow jesus right like of course 100 i'm not gonna lie about that 
However, my bigger hope is that I would plant a seed. I, I'd plant the seed of a tree in whose shade I will never sit. And what I mean by that is I would plant a seed and someone a week, two weeks, five years down the row, down the road would go, huh, I remember this one guy was talking to me about Jesus and I just had my first kid uh, and about God. And, and maybe I should look into that a little bit more. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Like. I genuinely hope and pray that there's gonna be a lot of people that I talk to and their seeds planted in which God will use other people to water those seeds. But like, I'll see them in the gates of heaven one day. I can't wait to give them a big old hug and praise God forever with them. That is awesome. That is freaking awesome. That's that's just like my hope. And then like, I would love to, for the content side of things to get so big to where, you know, I get to hire people to, to do X, Y, and Z and use the gifts God's given them as content creators and editors and you know YouTube analysts and all this stuff, not for just that that's mindless on YouTube, but rather like God glorifying and edifying content that's also super entertaining. That is cool. Definitely. Uh, how long have you been doing it? Only eight months. There are 10 okay, months, almost 10 good. months, almost 10 months. Slowly building up. That's cool. I never, uh, never thought of it this way. It's someone who could do this, but it's working. So many people think that oh, you yeah. have to be, oh, in order to like go share the good news of Jesus with people, that you have to be a pastor, you have to have all these certifications, right? Like all these different things, right? Like kind of what I hope is to be like, hey, you can do literally anything and use it to build relationships with people and share the good news of Jesus with them, right? Like you could mm -hmm. use you could, you could use soccer as as I used to. You could use Call of Duty. You could use you could use accounting, right? Like you can use literally anything to build relationships with people in hopes to share with them the good news of Jesus. And the Bible tells us that uh, whether you eat or whether you drink, you do it for the glory of God. And and how do you do that if we're not glorifying God in the easiest, most mundane things, right? Like the reason it, it, he says eat or drink, glorify God and whether you eat or drink is because eating and drinking is like the most mundane, boring thing, like just normal practice that we do in the world, right? And if he's telling us to eat and drink to the glory of God, what about all the other things that he calls us to do? So when did you become a Christian? Oh, young, young age. I mean, I've been in, so I did youth ministry. We broke, the way my church broke it up, we did, uh, it was called Halo, I think was uh, up until fifth grade. Then we had um, Power Life, which was fifth through eighth grade. And then Catalyst was all through high school. Okay. So those were all the, and we do little, uh, you know, like trips and stuff. We had mm -hmm. um, our own groups. We met up, I think, every Wednesday. And then uh, depending on where, wherever, and we just kind of, we'd listen to uh, our service directed, you know, towards us, kind of like what you were talking about. Um, and kind of sat there afterwards for about an hour and a half, you know, pray together, talk together, and then we kind of go on our day and stuff. And then I would go to church on Sundays with my mom and uh, with her working at the church and all that too. So got to meet a lot of people through there. So they've always been around, around, around all the time, my whole family. Uh huh. But I can't, I can't exactly say a specific, um, like a specific year. I know of like moments where I was like, wow, like this is for me. I'll probably, I'll probably wait until the second game or until, another, until the next game, you know, don't need to for like let them focus. You know what I mean? People are just going to get annoyed if I just ask a clutch situation because he's going to clutch this. You know what I mean? I'm recuous. Hello? Wait, what? I did leave without him. What?